Well, here it is, June 2018 already, and Mitch Peacock and James Wright have launched their tool making challenges. Welcome to my shop. I'm George, and I'm coming to you from Chelsea, Quebec. This is the tool that I'm going to be making for the challenges. It's a hand tool, and it's basically a shooting board but it's designed to clean up 45 degree edges on parts that go into making a box with mitered joints. So it's a bench hook in essence, sits there like this, the panels go in like this, and a plane is held at a 45 degree angle to shoot the, uh, the edges. I've never had good success straight off the table saw. The edges always needed to be cleaned up. And I made this thing as a prototype. I wasn't expecting it to work, but it worked really, really well right off the mark. So the question I have on my mind is, was this a fluke? Or if you take your time, can you get a really reliable build out of it? So to answer that question, I'm going to make a second one of these and see whether it too works really well off the mark or maybe I just got lucky first time. Now, this isn't an original design of mine. I know I've seen this before, but I can't remember where I saw it. So my apologies to whoever published the YouTube video using a shooting board like this. Here's some footage of the existing shooting board in action. It cleans up the burn and the uh, marks left by the table saw and leaves a perfect 45 degree angle. If you're building a box or a drawer that needs to be strong, then you wouldn't want to use uh, mitered uh, corners. Instead, you would use uh, finger joints, or as they're called, uh, box joints, uh, or dovetails. Uh, but if strength isn't a serious issue, or if you're prepared to reinforce the joint with uh, splines, uh, then the advantage of having uh, mitered corners is that you can get the grain to wrap around neatly um, around the corners and you can do that with uh, three corners so you see how the grain continues as we go around this corner and as we're here it continues on nice continuity there and here's the third corner it wraps around and uh, now here at the fourth corner it uh, also wraps around and it wraps around this corner and it's also doing it on this corner and it and it's wrapping around all four corners okay I'm not going to give you the secret of how to get a four corner wrap in this video but I what I will do is send you to Guy's wood shop uh, a year ago he published um, a video that shows how you can get a four corner wrap around so grain continuity all the way around the box um, if you don't know about his channel, consider this uh, the tip of the week or the tip of the month. Uh, a great channel to subscribe to, Guy's Woodshop. So the actual video that shows how you can make a four corner wraparound uh, is shown at the bottom right here. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then it's also in the uh, show notes. But 
let's get back to the matter at hand. So here's the uh, jig or fixture that I'm going to be uh, making uh, today. It's uh, designed for use with a block plane. This is a Stanley 212. Um, <clears throat> so the parts that go into making it uh, we'll start with a base plate, approximately 5 inches by 9 inches, and I'll publish the metric equivalents as we uh, go along. Uh, so that's the first piece, the base plate, quarter inch uh, MDF. This happens to be what I had in my scrap bin. The second piece that you'll want to put in is a strip. Uh, it's approximately an eighth of an inch uh, thick with a 45 degree bevel and it's about an inch in uh, width. Um, so the 45 degree bevel is there for the block plane to nestle into. The third and fourth pieces are these uh, hunks over here. So two half inch pieces of MDF uh, glued together and the face here is cut at 45 degrees. And when these guys go in, you'll want to ensure uh, a 90 degree angle uh, to this strip. Uh, so there's the uh, third and fourth uh, elements. The uh, fifth piece to go in is this triangular runner here at the top. So uh, it's square on this corner and then 45 degrees on this one uh, in line with these uh, faces here and that's what the uh, block plane will will ride along and the last piece is a cleat here at the bottom either to hook against the bench or to clamp in a, uh, an end vise. Oh I forgot to mention one the um, second to last piece so before you put on the cleat I'll actually it doesn't really matter how you do it um, is uh, another plate here. So this is again one quarter inch uh, MDF and uh, it's glued on top of the uh, base plate in between these uh, rails. Um, and in fact when I put it in I pushed it forward a little bit so that its corner protruded and uh, then I planed a 45 degree um, chamfer uh, on it just by running the block plane uh, as it rode along this edge and this edge it sliced away uh, a little bit of a chamfer on this plate. So what this plate does is it raises the workpiece so that the workpiece uh, is uh, seen by the blade and not by the edge of the block plane.
27-year-old woman from Shanghai died earlier in Brockville Hospital. 24 people were hurt. Some were hurt, but the first fraction were removed from the country during that time. More news at 1. Here's a look at the weather forecast for the National Capital Region. Cloudy today. The channel. Our Twitter handle is at CBC Ontario Today. If you're right-handed, it's important to get this angle at precisely 90 degrees. If you're left-handed, you'll want to make sure that this angle is 90 degrees. I'm going to try to get them both uh, spot on uh, because I don't know if the recipient is going to be right-handed or left-handed. I'm going to dab a little bit of white glue along with a drop or two of CA glue and I'll position it by feel and hope that the CA glue takes over and lets the white glue cure over the longer period. Okay, now I'm pushing down hard. Okay, that should have been long enough. I'm going to let it sit. Well, as good an idea as that was, uh, it didn't work. Uh, really soon after I found the, uh, the uh, cleat was lifting, so uh, I brought a couple of clamps into the picture. So while the uh, upper rail is curing, I'll glue in the uh, platform that raises the workpiece. Okay, I'm putting this in just a little bit ahead of the uh, 45 degree angle face. The plane will <clears throat> bring it back into a register with a few passes.
So I'm running a cleat down the length instead of across one end or the other. Uh, and this way, the uh, shooting board can be clamped into a vise either this way uh, or that way and uh, allow either right hand or left hand use. I'm screwing it in without glue so whoever receives it can uh, change it uh, back to having a, an end cleat at one end or the other depending on whether they're right handed or left handed. So a few passes with the shoulder plane to knock back this uh, protruding edge. Uh, and the answer is I got lucky the first time. Uh, with uh, this one I was getting uh, approximately 45 degree angles. The toes were meeting but the heels were open a little bit. So that meant that I needed to turn the plane angle this way a tiny amount. And the way that was really easy to accomplish that was simply to put um, some edge banding. Uh, so this is a strip of melamine edge banding um, riding underneath the steel part of the plane. So that rotated it ever so slightly this way. Uh, and that is giving me good results. So we're good. Well, here we are. Uh, finished, tested, adjusted, tested again, and it's working really well. If the angle needs to be closed up, we can always add another strip up here. If it needs to be opened up, we can add a strip down here, let the plane take away the uh, excess, uh, and that'll adjust the angle. So micro adjustments uh, are possible. Now, uh, someone, maybe in Quebec, maybe in Eastern Canada, depending on how the geography works out, if your name is drawn from uh, uh, James Wright's uh, lottery, uh, then I'll be sending this to you, and I hope you get some good use out of it. Uh, remember that it takes a two-inch wide block plane uh, to work with. Uh, now, don't let me close without thanking James Wright and Mitch Peacock for their separate build-offs uh, and let me thank them too for combining it into one and letting us enter the same project for both uh, build-offs. Um, I find them great fun and I'm looking forward to seeing all the other projects that have been made um, in, in the context of those um, uh, build-offs. Thank you for sticking it through to the end. I'm about to close and you know what I'm going to say. Make some time for your passion and share it.